What is up guys, Zach in here, and in today's video, we're gonna break down what are surplus funds and what are state funds. You might see a bunch of YouTube ads or Facebook ads or Instagram ads talking about this new innovative real estate niche, and a lot of people are just bashing wholesaling on it and really saying this is the wave of the future, this is the way that you need to get into real estate investing. It's like wholesaling, except it's easier. What I really wanted to do was, from a wholesaler's perspective, I wanted to really break down what surplus funds are. Is it legit? What does the whole process look like? And I really wanna explain it really as a beginner. Full disclosure, I am not the surplus funds expert. I've actually never done a surplus funds deal. But what I really wanted to do was break it down and really see what the whole process looks like. So you guys know I'm not the expert on there. I'm the expert in real estate wholesaling. But I do see this niche a lot and I do understand it, but I've never actively marketed with it. So before we get into it, before, before I really share with you what surplus funds are, remember you need to smash that like button and subscribe to get more free content from me. I'm here to help you make your first $100,000 in real estate wholesaling absolutely for free. So, so how did I learn about surplus funds, state funds, that's what they're kind of called. I actually learned this from a Spencer Van from surplusfund.com. So he's the actual person that actually, where I learned this from. And the only way I learned it was because Spencer here was actually targeting ads for real estate wholesalers, saying that wholesaling was dead and he had a lot of really funny creative marketing things to really teach people how to get into surplus funds and really dive deep with him. And we actually did a podcast together and he actually broke it down on the Back Searches podcast, which was really cool. So shout out to him there. but. Really, what is surplus funds or state funds? Basically what surplus funds is, so when your house gets foreclosed on or if there's a tax deed sale or a tax auction, let's say for example, the house sold at auction for $100,000 because there was a $4,000 of taxes that weren't paid for the past like two or three years. And that seller owed around $80,000 in a mortgage on that. What would happen? Now, in most situations, you have $16,000 left over there. $100,000 sale price, and they owed $84,000. So you get $16,000. Most people would just go and get that $16,000. Now, the government, or sometimes you get foreclosed on, they won't give you that money. You have to go and actually get it yourself. And in some cases, in, where someone doesn't even know the true value of their home, and they think, you know, I owe like, this property can only sell for $70,000. i am uh, I'm underwater on this, I'm just walking away. And some people just walk away from it, and they know it got sold, and they don't really care. And some people have like $16,000 just laying there. And you can see this from public record of 16,000 that they're actually owed from the government. The government's actually holding on to those funds. What usually those funds are held between one to two years, sometimes even more. And the government will keep them after a certain period of time. But within a year or two, you can actually recover those funds. The little real estate niche here is you can actually contact these people that have that money owed and you can go cold call them, text them, do whatever marketing you do just like in wholesaling and say, hey, Mr. Seller, hey, Sally Sue, according to public record here, I actually got some really good news. It seems like you're owed $16,000. I mean, were you the previous owner of 123 Main Street there? And then basically from there, you, you tell that person that if I was able to recover that funds or help you in the whole process, I would take a small fee and I would actually help you get that $16,000 if we can. Would that be something you'd be okay with? You get a certain percentage of that $16,000 and then you go into the next one. That's really what surplus funds is. And it's just another niche, honestly. It's very similar to real estate wholesaling. You can make up to $30,000, $40,000 per month doing that. Most people are at the five, ten thousand 10,000 if they're actually pretty good at it, just like wholesaling real estate. And there are some key differences on it, but really that whole process is that. I mean, you pull that list, you pull the public records list of people who do have surplus funds or state funds, and you just contact them. The type of other funds that people are owed are like bankruptcy ones, your mortgage, you don't pay your mortgage or just from the state. So there's state funds, mortgage funds, bankruptcy funds, and tax funds. And those are the lists you're really pulling. And the way that you actually really get into it where you actually do the marketing is very similar to wholesaling real estate is you either do like door knocking, SMS blasting, email marketing, cold calling, cold calling's a Cold calling is probably the top way to actually do it. Or you can target people with like social media ads, things like that. But really that's the way, just like finding a motivated seller, you're actually contacting these people. And sometimes they don't even own real estate at all. So it's an interesting niche. It's just like wholesaling in the fact that you're actually, you're basically flipping for a quick profit, 
basically in wholesaling real estate, again, is we find a motivated seller who's looking to sell a property for a discount. We put them under contract there and then we sell that contract to a cash buyer for a profit. We'll make the quick 15, $20,000 in and out really quickly within a month. Just like surplus funds, you're in and out, you're very quickly with that and it's quick cash and it's just like wholesaling in that regard and that's why it's very, very attractive. That's why there's a lot of gurus out there actually teaching surplus funds and stuff. Now surplus funds is a lot, lot smaller than wholesaling real estate and in my personal opinion, I might get in trouble from uh, some surplus funds guys out there but I feel like it's a lot easier to scale a wholesaling real estate business depending on your market surplus funds might be an absolute amazing model, but really it, it's, it's interesting. It's just like wholesaling. You can automate it. You can have VAs doing cold calling for you on it. There's so many different angles. You can do it. It's a tomato tomato. My personal opinion, I think it'd be better just to get into real estate wholesaling and then maybe playing with the surplus funds thing. But really the wholesaling real estate market is so much bigger than any of the surplus funds ones. So if you're going out there trying to make a million dollars per year, very, very, very difficult to be doing that in surplus funds. But in wholesaling real estate, it's a lot easier to do. And honestly, it's a lot more of a grind for real estate wholesaling. But once you get in there, that's a skill that has been proven for decades and decades and decades. Surplus funds hasn't. There could be legislation that kind of ends that tomorrow. That is the one concern I do have for it. But honestly, it's still a great business model. People are making over six figures a year doing it. So I cannot bash that at all. And in wholesaling real estate, it's very hard to regulate that or honestly ban it. You'd have to be in a very bad wholesaling real estate market. You can't really ban the process of buying a property for cash without a realtor. So wholesaling real estate has been done for decades and decades and decades. There's so much history with wholesaling real estate and it's honestly just more established niche to do uh, for real estate investing. And I just, there's so many seven figure wholesalers out there that it's a lot better chance of you making a million dollars a year in profit doing wholesaling than in surplus funds. But obviously, you know me, I'm biased. Some other interesting things about surplus funds is you can actually do it virtually. You don't even have to do it in person. You can actually do this all from your phone, all throughout the country with an internet connection. Very, very attractive niche. So for those reasons, I am 100% a huge advocate for wholesaling real estate. I think that's the best one out there. I mean, that's what I did when I was 17, turned that into seven figures. And I just see people consistently making money doing that. Helps your skill sets and it's honestly the best one out there. Surplus funds is an amazing one. I'd recommend that over being a realtor any day of the week. And then from there, I do think surplus funds is just way better than drop shipping or Amazon FBA stuff. At least it's something you can tangibly do really for relatively super cheap cost. Uh, wholesaling, you do it from nothing. Wholesaling, you can actually scale it up to an amazing amount and and really it's got the, just the decades of experience. So if you had to make a million dollars or really make $100,000 guaranteed, having the experience in real estate wholesaling will help you out. But surplus funds is another very, very interesting niche to look at. And I see a lot of real estate wholesalers flirting with it. They're doing a little bit of here, doing a little bit of there. And honestly, if you're like in both, I do recommend that you dedicate to one and really see it. So maybe spend a full year into wholesaling or maybe a full year into surplus funds and see where you're at. Obviously for surplus funds that it's not, there's not a lot of coaches or gurus out there teaching it. Uh, so most of it's behind a paywall, which is not the best thing out there. Obviously for wholesaling real estate, I teach it for free. So that, that is the big, that's the one big benefit also, but really it's ultimately up to you. I'm here just to, help you out in real estate in general. Again, this isn't a wholesaling exclusive channel. I'm trying to show you about everything in real estate so you can become a complete real estate investor. This is just one niche in real estate that I think is very important. And really, it's something that you just need to know about. And honestly, if you get into it, you make money, it'd be really cool. Remember, there's so many people that failed surplus funds, but there's also a huge amount of people that failed wholesaling. So wholesaling, in my opinion, is better than the other, but really, it's honestly up to you. I'm really curious to think if you guys, my audience, my subscribers have actually tried this niche before. I'm really curious to see if you had any success with it. And I honestly, I'm just curious to see what your opinions are on this. Uh, it might be the first time you're hearing about surplus funds. So it's a very interesting thing. People call it state funds. You're gonna get like a guru or YouTube guy that's probably gonna pop up on your feed saying, there's a secret niche that you don't know about real estate there's either two ways they're doing it. They're either gonna teach you about wholetailing, which I teach you all the time, or they're gonna teach you about surplus funds, but they all market it in a different name. So you just gotta be careful. So 
the guru tomorrow could say there's a new secret thing. It's like reverse wholesale hacking or it's like, or it's like rocket wholesaling or rocket real estate flip or quick money cash real, like they will market it whatever whatever way they do it. Again, people market virtual wholesaling in their own little thing all the time. So ultimately what you need to do is make a decision on what you wanna do and stick to it. You can make money easily on both things. I'm biased, so I you guys already know that, but I really appreciate you guys watching this stuff. So if you got any value from this content, remember you need to smash that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and have a blessed day.